Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Look, I got friend mail. Not only did I get friend mail, but if I could do this real quick. It's like a letter from Hogwarts. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, this is from Anne. Anne um, said she wanted to send me something and it says, please do not bend. But it's the cutest thing. Um, so the letter, it looks like an owl delivering it. And on the back it says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good, which is how you open the Marauder's Map. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please watch Harry Potter, read the Harry Potter books. It's fun for all ages. It's not satanic or demonic or any of that stuff, okay? It's just fun. That's funny because there were a lot of people, sorry, let me just really quick. There were, there were a lot of people when it first came out that would be like, no, witches are bad and, you know, devil worship and all that stuff, which obviously is not true. However, I don't have a problem with the magic happening over at the Mary Poppins world or the bibbidi bobbidi boo but, you know, hey, whatever. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. It is spells. What, sweetie? Oh, yeah, I got the mail already. This is just for fun. So the first thing is the beginner's the beginner's guide to wand motions. <clears throat> and there's all of the most popular ones. So Alohomora, which is how you open stuff. Parechium, Ascendio, Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Um, Descendio. Sorry, my. Oh, Mimble Wimble. The the part of the W is like didn't print, so it's like it looks like I didn't know what that was. Look like N double I M. I was like I don't know what that word is. Um, Silencio. We need that around this house. <laughs> so, it's really cool. I, like, I need to make a book now. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. It says, science meets magic. <laughs> and it spells Hogwarts. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, it's hydrogen... Organison, it looks like Organison, Organison, Tungsten, Argon, and Tennessee. Ah, I love it. <laughs> now we have to do is a numerologist. What we do is we'll add up all of the weights of the period. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We won't do that. <gasps> oh, snitch wings from my Fur Rocher. Oh, how cute. <laughs> So there's snitch wings and it says on the bottom it says cut out wings leaving tabs attached apply glue or dot and fix to candy that is fantastic so um, snitches are these little gold flying orbs that are in the game that Harry Potter plays it's called Quidditch and um, the Ferrar Rocher candies which are my favorite actually um, a lot of people use them in Harry Potter parties to uh, they just attach wings to them and they look like snitches as one of the treats and that's perfect. Thank you, Anne. <gasps> Birdie butts. Okay, so this is a package. And you can see it's actually like cut out. You can cut out the tabs there to make um, for Birdie Bots every flavor beans, which they have like apparently like vomit, snot, and no, that's not I'm not into that. So I would probably fake it with jelly bellies. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it, Anne. Thanks. Oh, I guess this is like a candy box, it looks like, or a gift box. So, what it is, is it's a printable, and it looks like it makes a gift box, actually. And it's a headwig inside a cage. His cage. Her cage. I don't know why I always do that. She's a she. Why am I? So, gender mis mislabeling. But that's really cute. That's really cute. 
Oh, I've seen these. I've seen lots of DIYs for them too. So this also makes a gift box or a box. It doesn't have to be a gift box. And it ends up being Harry Potter's suitcase. Um, well, trunk that he goes to Hogwarts with. Um, it says HP and it's got his little Gryffindor scarf hanging out of it. That's really cute. That's really cute. I was looking for any of the labels and stuff. Oh, and I love this. Love this, huh? So it's, you guys see what it spells? <laughs> so they've taken broomsticks. This is the symbol for net platform nine and three quarters. If you're not a Harry Potter fan, really quickly, there's a magical entrance at King's Cross Station in London that allows you to go to the special train that takes you to Hogwarts, just to break it down for you really quick. And that station is you walk through a wall between platforms nine and 10. Um, and best do it in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> if you're nervous um, and then here is the deathly hollow symbol upside down that sounds like a really bad thing deathly hollows is not a bad thing what it is is um uh, is it it's a story inside the story where there are these three brothers who tried to trick death uh and death well they tricked death and death gave them prizes they gave them each um the triangle represents an, an, inv an invisibility cloak the um the long straight line represents the elder wand which is the most powerful wand in all of magic and the circle represents the um resurrection stone i don't know the word resurrection just disappeared from my head um which can bring someone back to life so it's a good fable inside a story that teaches valuable lessons about life so i love it and then the e is made out of wands and then there's a house elf harry potter's glasses and um and scar and I guess that's the goblet of fire yep and owls and the sorting hat I love it that's so much fun thank you I'm so glad Hedwig was watching us while we opened this it was very important that she was there the whole time <laughs> well thank you Anne so much this was amazing um, if you guys uh, I don't know there's no note or anything, so I don't know if she has an Etsy shop or did she just find printables or something, but I love it. Thank you. Um, if we do, just watch for her in the comments. And thank you so much. Um, you guys have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't yet, you need to go check out Harry Potter, whether it's the books or the movies or, yeah, or going to Universal Studios to go visit the part of the theme park you can see how magical it is um, it really does takes adults back to childhood takes children to open up their imagination it's just a fantastic world she's created in um, as a homeless mom I mean that's another if if for no other reason just to in the fact that she was homeless uh, when she wrote this and she's you know made it a world that will never end honestly so Okay, as always, take care, God bless, see you next time. Bye. Look who's awake, look who's awake. And he's trying to get me to eat gluten. He's a bad boy. Mm -hmm. That's not gluten free. I know that, but just that, I'm right okay. I know, you trying to get me to eat it? Yeah, I was gonna have you try it. <laughs> tastes, like, tastes like um, part of the pan. Oh, I'm sure, I love amaretto, so. didn't even brush my hair. <laughs> Look at all the static. Oh. You know, I like the way my hair feels when it's clean. And obviously the way it smells. But I really hate the way it looks. I mean, not hate. It's, I don't have hate in my vocabulary, but it's not my favorite.
as low it goes, huh? Oh, that's as low as it goes. That's as high as it goes.